What are you drinking? I'm drinking Langcheng Latte. And yourself? I'm drinking the same. But I added shots of GPT and some APIs like Search API and my tools and services inside to make it much more practical and conversational taste. Hmm, how come? So now when I ask my question from GPT model, it goes through Langcheng and executes some tools, services and APIs as needed to answer my request. For example, I can ask to mute my digital twin and it will do it. Listen, you know that beside muting you, I can even delete your existence. Okay. Now, let me show you how you can execute and call your other services, API, knowledge bases, and stuff, whatever you want to support GPT model answer your questions through reasoning and acting. Then, let's go. Hello my friends and welcome back. Well, we all know and it goes without saying large language models like GPT, GPT-4, they're all very well capable of understanding and perceiving language. But if we branch that in two pieces, we need to understand how capable they are in reasoning and also acting or creating execution plan. And usually in literature, these two are considered separately. But recently under a new topic, called REACT, which stands for Reasoning and Acting for Large Language Models, we can combine these two to make a solution that can not only do a robust reasoning and then do a proper execution of plans based on those reasonings and act them. By acting, what do we mean? By acting, I mean you can have a solution that based on your large language model request, it can suddenly act like calling an API, like search API to go through internet and get the answer back to you and let LLM model answer your question. Or calling your internal API or calling different services and tools or calling your environment knowledge bases to answer your request. And the good news is Langchain already implemented such a thing that you can define your tools or use some tools that Langchain already implemented them and connect them with your large language model to have an end-to-end -end reasoning and acting solution that not only just responds in a text, but it execute actions. Then let me show you quickly an order of possibility and just think about it, how you can scale it further for your own projects. Then let's check it out. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank All right, you. welcome back everyone and let's quickly go through what is react or reasoning and acting in large language models and let's quickly see the implementation of that through Langchain. Well, as we talked, large language models are certainly uh, capable of understanding language, but we have to make sure that they do properly understand the reasoning of some thoughts. For example, we have seen chain of thoughts that sort of showcase how what is the logic of thinking of the model if you think about it as a thinking? How these models are interpreting the input to come up with some, let's say, answer when you ask a question. For example, you, you ask a mathematical question and it will start telling you the reasoning of why I got these results because I added this number to that number and then I multiply this and that. Now I need to divide this by that, something like this. Reasoning is something but sometimes reasoning is not enough because when we ask a question, maybe it's not something that large language model by itself can answer. We need to connect to, let's say, live internet data to get the answer. Or we need to call an API to get the answer. Or we need to connect to our own databases and data sources to get the answer for large language model and let it answer to our request. That's why we need also action. And when we talk about action on the right side here, we need to also make sure that these models are robust enough to come up with the proper plan of actions and then we can execute it. 
So that's how these reasoning and acting should be sort of sort of combined together to make it a robust prompting scenario that not only we can have a better reasoning of why these these are the reasons that why these tasks are being done by large language model and based on that what are going to be the robust action items we need to take so there's a whole paper about this concept behind and they have did some benchmarks to compare what they got with this prompting method which we call it react compared to others and and here are a couple of examples for example they showed that this method will stop the model for hallucinating because we are forcing the model not only do the reasoning but also reasoning beside a, a grounded answer that can have an action get the answer from a search or something and then do reasoning and planning beside it so no hallucination or fake data that's sort of the logic of it and Langchain actually took it they implemented that and under under documentation under agent types if you click on react they're telling that this is a walk to showcase using an agent to implement react which I was just what I just told you and as you can see here I'm not going to actually run that what I did, I, I ran a modified version of this notebook to run it on Azure, which I'm going to show you quickly with Azure OpenAI. But the idea is the same, and even the notebook is very similar to what you see here. As you can see, it is importing my OpenAI agent that gonna, I'm going to use it as a large language model. And then for that action part, I just don't want the large language model answer my question immediately. Maybe it needs to connect to internet and ask, answer my question. That's why I am reloading a tool called SERP API. What is SERP? SERP API is the Google search API. Well, I think not just Google, actually. You can even use Bing search engine on the back end. So it's like a wrapper to call a search engine. You can register, get your key for free. It's pretty simple. They have some license and plans, so, but you can start for free. Register here, click on register, and if you could just type serpapi.com, you will see this link, and then you can grab your API key from here, and that's it. So for example, here I'm using it as a tool when it is needed to search internet and answer the question. Or when a user asks a question that needs some mass calculation, then I'm also importing that as another tool. Now, you might say that how these tools are defined. I see, for example, these are loading from a lang chain from that load tools which is here or can i have my own tool and created that the answer is you can actually have both langchain tools or also make it a bit customized for yourself to be more clear here is the source code of the load tools that i just showed you by langchain and i was curious to see what kind of tools are already implemented by this Langchain agent, so I don't need to recreate or customize it. And if you go through this reference, you'll see that, for example, they have some tools to load podcasts, as an example, or TMDB API. They have um, Google search or connecting to Wikipedia, connecting to Arc IV. To I think this is a source for grabbing some papers. So that means if you have an application that for answering a user question you need to connect to some of these references as a tool to use them you don't need to implement that it's already implemented by Langchain if it's not there you can create yours you can create something to talk with your own API or create a, a separate function that does anything that you want right so let me show you the notebook that I ran and I will add the link of the repo that I took this uh, notebook in discord channel on the reference tab just open that up you will see this notebook so you can run it in your environment it's very similar to the Langchain code that I showed you with just slight changes so first I need to install some packages and by the way the environment that I'm running this Python code is Azure ML but you don't need to use Azure ML it's not a must to have I was just looking for a computer that I can run my Python code that's it that can be your laptop even right so forget about the environment that I'm working just focus on the Python code first I'm installing some packages which are OpenAI, Langchain, and Google Search. I need it for Serp API, as I told you. So these are all installed for me. And of course, for connecting to your OpenAI language model here, Azure OpenAI, you need to have these credentials. I ran this code before, then I removed these credentials. You can also store them in Key Vault or make it secure, not adding that to a notebook, of course. But you need to have your OpenAI key, your OpenAI base. I'm talking about Azure OpenAI, your API version, API type is Azure and set up API key, which I told you when you registered from here, you will grab your key and you can copy and paste it. Okay, let me go back to the notebook. And that's it. So I grabbed them and I added that to my OpenAI configuration. 
And here we are. Now I am initializing the tools that I want to use in my application. The first tool that I'm defining here is my search tool. So I'm loading SERP API wrapper from Langchain. And I'm saying that, hey, I want to use search engine with these parameters, what they are. These are, for example, the engine is Bing. We can use uh, Google, location US. This is the key of my SERP API. And of course, I'll, I have already changed that after recording a video. And then when I have this defined, this is my search tool. And under tools, I'm going to say that, hey, this is my first tool. I call it search. And I grab it from here that I have defined. When you need to use it, it is useful when you need to answer a question about current events or something that it needs live data to get the current state of the world. So I'm, I'm telling to my open AI model when you need to use that search. That's it. Because I want to have a chat about to chat, so I need to also initialize the converse, uh, memory for the conversational agent. That's a typical thing that you do in Langchain. And then I want to say what model I use with Azure OpenAI. I say that GPT 3.5. If you have access, we can add even GPT 4. And that's it. I'm initializing my agents with my large language model. With the tools I define at the top, I define just one tool, which is search engine. And my agent type is specified on the top. And that's it with the memory. Then I can start asking my question. Hi, I'm Bob. Now, look at that. We are now going through reasoning. So I want to see and also the thoughts behind when I ask this question from the large language model. It is telling to itself that do I need to use a tool? What is my tool? It, it's a search tool. No, because the, the, I'm just greeting. Hi, I'm Bob. Hi, I'm MG. That's it. So it says, no, I don't need it. So the answer is, hey, Bob, how can I assist you? What's my name? Again, do I need to use search engine or go to internet? No, because I already know my name is Bob because I told the large language model, and here it is. The same thing, more questions. I want to make some dinner, blah, blah, blah. Again, it says that I don't need to use any tool, and here's the answer for you. But if I say that who won the World Cup in 1978, then it says, do I need to use a tool? Yes. Which tool? Search. It goes to internet using my self API and key stuff. It grabbed the answer for me. That was just one tool we talked about search. How about this? If you have multiple tools and how you preterize them. So here I'm doing the same thing, but here I'm saying that instead of just having the search or SERP API to connect to internet when you need to answer questions about current events, also I have another tool which I call it music search. Now that can be your own custom function. For example, here I'm creating a dummy function that return nothing. Whatever input you give to this function, it will always return this string. But you can have your own complex function, whatever you want here. So whenever there's a music, a music search engine needed, that function will be executed. But it is telling that, use this more than normal search. That means if user ask about searching in music, don't go to the search of internet. Preterize this one because I'm telling you here actually. So let's see if it's gonna work or not. What's the most famous song of Christmas? I'm asking about the music search. So it says, do I need a tool? Use a tool, yes. But internet search or music search? It understood that's a music search. And what does this function do? Nothing, it always remember, uh, just return this. And that's why I have it also in the answer. Now, there you go. You can also directly call any tool that you want here. For example, I'm defining another type of tool, which is a calculator that I'm grabbing from LLM math chain from Langchain. I've imported that, so it is needed when the question is about the math. And I'm asking what's to multiply or to the power of something, whatever you want to add here. It sort of got the calculation for me and get the results back. So what was the conclusion here? As you saw, I was able to actually define my own tools and let through reasoning and acting, let this solution implemented by Langchain come up with a plan of um, tasks that need to be taken, the tools need to be leveraged and also execute them. So I was able to ask a question and regardless of how back end gonna happen, it was able to detect whether I need to use search engine on internet or not to answer the question or my music search uh, custom function or calculator so think about your own projects whatever your tools api services that you have you can integrate them define them as a tool here so when you conclude your chatbot you won't be worried about figuring out what tools and services you manually need to use and bring it to the prompt 
because Langchain will already take care of that. You just need to introduce you or integrate your own tools with OpenAI models. And I hope you enjoyed this video. That's all. Usan Boat, a Jamaican runner once said, I trained for four years to run just for nine seconds in a running match. And people give up in two months when they see no results. Dream big, my friends. Believe in yourself and take action. And be patient. Till next video, take care.